So if you're anything like me, you've been playing around with Dream Textures, the Blender add-on that has stable diffusion right inside a fucking Blender, and you might know that it already has a new feature called Project uh, Texture uh, that uses depth information, uses a depth model to generate a texture on a 3D model. Now, uh, I've seen both very good results and very glitchy results with this, and I just want to give a bit of a hint, because I know I'm making an upcoming tutorial with this, uh, to get it to be less glitchy. So let me give you a bit of a demo. So, uh, and and if in case you haven't seen this, this shit's ridiculous. So let's say we have a cube. Um, I'm going to go into edit mode so we can use the dream texture depth project dream texture. Uh, and I'm going to use Rubik's cube. So I want to texture this with a Rubik's cube. You project dream texture. It's going to do its best. And you can see it's kind of making a Rubik's cube, but shit's like glitchy as fuck. And it has more squares than it should. And it, it looks very weird. Uh, the hint is, or the tip is, whatever it is that you want to project, make sure that your model has more detail that kind of corresponds with it. So yes, a Rubik's cube is a cube, but can we do better? We can, we can add two loop cuts here, here, and here. I select all these faces, I inset them uh, individually, and then I extrude along normals. So basically all I've done is I've created a mesh for the Rubik's cube that looks a bit more like a Rubik's cube. And now I'm not saying it's gonna be on the first generation, but now when we uh, create a new thing, you're gonna see the Rubik's cube is aligning a lot better. Uh, if it isn't aligning perfectly, again, you can go to the UV editing workspace and kind of manipulate this around a bit. Let me show you the uh, overlay. You can manipulate this around a bit and even pull uh, vertices. So I'm here you can see I'm pulling let me make this a bit smaller. I'm pulling vertices to uh, line this up. So uh, just a bit of a tip. You want to, um, let me bring this up. Uh, you want to add more geometry for this to make sense. Now, I'm not saying this is a, a Rubik's cube that could possibly exist because it has two reds on one side, uh, but that's a thing. So let, let me just do one more demo that I think I did in the previous tutorial, although I don't know if I released it yet. Uh, if I wanted to make an air conditioning unit, uh, one way to do that, again, this is a thing that is kind of like a block. Uh, so you might say AC unit, and you project that dream texture, and you'd hope that it comes out like an AC unit, um, and it kind of does, uh, but we can do better. So one thing you can do is, again, just add more geometry onto this to work with. So I'm going to, I don't know, extrude this out, uh, create a inset in here, and extrude it downwards. And let's say that I just add a loop cut down here and just giving it more details that it could kind of work with. And now uh, when we take all of this and project dream texture, you're going to see it's going to make an air conditioner that maps on a lot better, a whole of a lot better um, than the previous version. So there's a tip. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know that uh, we're in this world now where you can just kind of vaguely model an object and hit generate textures, uh, Rude Awakening, that's the case.